Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Ariel. I'm the owner of Ari Bea Sticker Shop and today I'm going back to basics and filming a quick flip of my A6 journal. I used to do these videos a lot on my YouTube channel so I'm gonna go ahead uh, and show you guys uh, what I've been doing in here. As you can see, I am in this gorgeous Hobonichi cover again for spring. I asked you guys on um, Instagram, I believe, uh, if I should be moving into my Julio A6 Apunto or if I should move into this guy for spring and you guys voted for this one. So I'm back in it and I'm obsessed with it. I actually do have this cover in A5 as well so I'm planning on cracking that out even if it's just for a notebook and not one of my Hobonichi Techos. Uh, but today I'm going to be flipping through a few of my journal entries in here because I haven't shown them to you in a very long time. So this is currently what my techo is looking like. Um, I did put a paper cover on top of my techo just because I really like the colors of it. So let's go on in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I set up this planner on camera so you might already be familiar with how I put everything together. I still have a few extra things that I haven't put away like some of my tabs because I don't really want to lose them. And then I also do have quite a few of um, these vision boards that I love doing in my planners as well. So I'm going to go ahead and skip right into my dailies. I wanted to quickly flip through some of these gorgeous pages because it's been a while since I shared something. So of course um, I do have a few different um, pictures in here, some quotes that really resonated with me. Um, I have a lot of wish lists in here because I've been a little bit obsessed with finding a new hobby. <laughs> um, as you can see um, here I wrote a lot about uh, jewelry and some interests that I've been wanting to try so that is what I've been currently doing in here. I feel like in the next few months my journal is going to get a lot more decorative. As you can see here um, I basically just put in some of uh, these pictures and I rarely put some washi and or stickers. I'm thinking about going back to it. This is probably the only spread that I did with some extra stickers and stuff. Uh, the other ones are really just like pasted in um, like images that I found or things that resonated with me. I do really like sort of like that minimal style where I just have pictures and writing. You guys know I am a sticker girl so uh, I definitely do miss having a little bit of collaging here and there if, even if it's just having a few stickers and washi on a page. So these spreads are kind of like, I don't want to say bare bones, but like um, if this is the only thing that I get to do for the day or uh, for my journal entry that is enough for me to do and then I can always go back and add more personality and more life into it a little bit later. My most important um, goal is to put everything down on paper first uh, whether um, on that day it's just putting the title of uh, what I want to talk about on this specific journal entry or I can put down a few lines or fill up the whole page with writing. So that's what I've been doing with a lot of uh, my spreads here. So another thing that I've been enjoying in life for these last few months is actually gardening. Uh, gardening is something that I've always really been wanting to do and I did journal about it a few times in here if I can get to the page. I've been gardening a lot lately and of course it is uh, springtime here um, now in Canada and I'm so excited to start putting all of my vegetables and flowers outside. I think it's next month that I actually get to plant everything outside, which I'm so excited about. I'm just waiting for the last frost in my zone or area in order to put everything out. And then I'll literally just be outside for as much as my day as possible. So as you can see here, especially in February, I did a lot of writing in all of my spreads. And then I just have a few bits of deco. I feel like February I was writing a lot and I was talking a lot about my feelings and stuff like that. Um, so that is basically what I have in here. Uh, I'm just going to... I still do have a few empty spots where I didn't print out any pictures or anything like that. Uh, here I wanted to print out a picture of uh, my celery plants and my celery seedlings. Uh, I'm so excited. If you guys want me to show my sort of like gardening journal, um, I'll show you guys that in a little bit. I'm um, just sort of updating it. So if you are interested, please do let me know. So these spreads have been pretty um, like low maintenance, I would say, compared to some of the other spreads that I've been doing lately. Uh, I say low maintenance because it literally doesn't take long 
at all for me to get my thoughts down. I always find that whenever I am uh, struggling sort of like mentally to do things or I'm kind of like overwhelmed, it usually means I haven't written in one of my planners or one of my journals in a few days. So um, every time I do sort of like a emotional dump or something like that into um, my planners, then I tend to feel a lot better mentally. So that's why you're seeing a lot of my thought process and stuff like that in a lot of my journals because I really want to just write. So I'm just going to skip a few days uh, with some personal information. But as you can see here, um, I do, um, I did start adding a few more pieces of washi and sticking things in again, um, a few like ephemera pieces and stuff like that. I wanted to put a picture of my tomatoes here, still haven't taken a picture of them, um, but I have uh, tipped in pictures of other things. I tend to do a lot of this in my planners, especially last year because I wanted to keep up with my planner, but I was really, really um, tied on time, so I wasn't able to print out images as much as I wanted to, so uh, these pictures had to come a little bit later. Which was unfortunate, I would have liked to properly incorporate them and like collage them into my planners, but sometimes life does take over, so um, it's not always um, as sustainable as I want, but keeping this journal um, like this is definitely better than nothing, at least in my opinion. I'm actually going to skip past the majority of my entries in April because I have some private information on them. Um, and in some of the other pages that I am more comfortable sharing is basically about gardening. So I think I can skip past some of those. Um, I think that's basically it for this flip. There are only a few more months left in this journal. Um, and as you can see, it is quite chunky, even though I didn't put as many uh, pictures or collages as I normally do. Surprisingly, it has a little bit of fluff to it. Um, oh, I have a few bits and pieces here in the back of my techo with just images and some uh, note paper that I like to use. And then I do have a, uh, I think this is an invoice from when I ordered some more flower seeds for my garden. Oh, and they're so pretty. Hold on, I'll quickly show you guys them. So I ordered some seeds from a local flower farm and I'm so excited to use it. Um, it came in this really pretty... Uh, craft bag. I'm hoping on putting that into my uh, gardening traveler's notebook. And then these are some of the seeds that I got that I'm planning on planting as soon as um, the weather permits. From what I know, this um, company is a very small business uh, just in Ontario, Canada. So I really wanted to support them and try out some of their seeds. So I'm really excited. I got a few of these and then I also got a few other ones. So I actually already planted some of my sweet peas. They are already growing really tall, so I'm really excited for some blooms. And then I have a few more that I want to put in my garden as well. I want to put these seed packets in my journal so I can remember them, but I think it's a better idea for me to keep them in my gardening journal. I guess I have to take a picture of these in order to keep the beautiful, pristine packaging um, as a memory. Hopefully I can share more pictures. It's, been, it's always been one of my dreams to um, have a really nice vegetable and flower garden in my home and this year is finally the year I get to do one so I'm really excited about that so that's probably one of my goals that I'm really excited for this year because I wasn't able to do that um, in previous years at all so uh, now I'm trying it out and I'm really excited about it. So thank you guys so much for watching this very quick flip of uh, my A6 Techo. Uh, if you want to see more of my spreads or more spreads in general of some of my planners, let me know. If you're curious about any of my other planners or some of my other spreads, uh, let me know and I'll be sure to film a video on it. I feel like I really went back to my planner girl roots uh, moving back into um, this Hobonichi Techo cover and uh, filming this flip. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!